What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk Draft King. Fantasy Player Basketball for the slate of August the 21st, 2020. All right, guys, I'm going to go straight down to it, go by the uh, position, then give you guys my five players. So far, guys, uh, there's still a lot of games going on. Uh, the third game he's playing right now, Milwaukee against Orlando. So hopefully, uh, it looks like it might be uh, low score in our uh, fantasy days. So I then uh, barely get 50 in DK, I believe. I don't think he get 50 in DK and FD. I think he got like 51 or something like that. Uh, and then, of course, it's the second quarter in uh, the Orlando game. Orlando is not looking good right now, but hopefully they can, uh, you know, they can make it a game. That would be better. Uh, because I got me some Giannis, I got a little bit of everybody, so we'll see. So uh, let's go down to the point guard position. You have Luca 10.8k. It's good to see the price go down a little bit. Uh, I, I mean, he hasn't really been doing that great. He started great, but didn't finish great again. Uh, at 60, 50, 65 was really good, but 50 uh, after had 40 in the first half uh, but they didn't really need them in the second half so and i think the difference is gonna kind of be like that on him the rest of the way but i still like him uh still like him 10.8k um most likely you i don't think you need him yes and uh, yesterday and you might not need them again tomorrow but definitely gonna take a chance on him uh that's gonna be my first time playing him by the way uh metro 9.4k the price just keep climbing but i might have my oh my line i think metro will be the guy i'm gonna say i'm not gonna have him in any lineup that's just too much i just can't go there i know he can go off but i'm not going there me personally all right so kalari 7.8k like it i believe it was 8k last game so or maybe that was fd but I like him regardless so yeah he was 8k actually the price went is going down so that's good uh, i love larry van fleet has been bowling too and uh, definitely like van fleet and uh, jimmy mori 7k i don't mind going there so the price went down there too walker 6.6k uh, i like walkers and then conley 5.9 i was hoping it would be a little bit cheaper but i still don't mind going there Lou Williams is another player. I don't mind. I will play. Actually, I love Lou William Clarkson. Not as much. I will play smart, but I will definitely sprinkle me a little bit of Clarkson on my lineups. Milton, uh, it was a blowout, but had 24. That's probably his best fantasy game in a long time. So uh, it was good to see him get over the 20 fantasy points. But uh, it was a blowout, so he possibly could have played a little bit more minutes. So for that, I wouldn't mind taking a chance. I'm not sure what's going on with Burks, why I didn't get the minutes. Uh, let's see, he only had 8.25.16 minutes. I was hoping he played like close to 30 minutes. He didn't get it. Um, so not sure what's going on. Maurice did, didn't do too good, even though started actually had a good first half, but ended up only finishing 18.25 fantasy points. I can see him. Uh, bounce back to 20 plus minutes point if it's one of those players you can to play but me personally i'm not looking to play morris all right so those are the guys i'm basically interesting on uh Reggie jackson if you get a start again i can see me go back there this guy some somehow he forgot how to play basketball not that he was very great but he was like a scoring point guard so uh, my favorite five players on that i mean a lot of them i'm gonna play but my favorite five definitely lowry uh walker louili some of okay let me go with the point guard because uh, the other guys i'm gonna like them as the shooting guard so larry um jimmo walker conley and uh smart i definitely like lou williams better than smart but i'm more likely looking to play lou williams than free as a shooting guard all right so uh for the shooting guard again levert Van Fleet, Brown, uh, Angles, 
I like him, but not as much as I would want to because of the fact that sometimes Engels be the one who, you know, sometimes he has the body in his hand, but it's going to be a little bit different now. Now that we have uh, his point guard coming back, Conley. So it will be a little bit different, but I still interesting in playing him, but not as much as I would like to. Uh, Clarkson, the same thing. I'm still interesting and I'm still going to play him, but not as much. Your tempo has been decent. I mean, if his shot is falling, and it's good to see. But he also had two rebounds, three assists. He even had a 10 rebound game. So that's good to see. Uh, as you can see, actually, tempo has been much better than I actually thought. So I wouldn't mind going there, taking a chance. But the thing is, Jay Rich is only 4.8K. I know this guy. Man, I had so much high hope for Jay Rich. But love the price. I'm uh, definitely going to play him. Uh, Alex Berg. <sighs> Whew, both him and Curry, I will take a chance on them. Uh, and uh, that's Taibu. No. On FD, I might take a chance on Taibu because of the uh, blog and and the steal, the extra point, but not on the K. Power 4.3K, like that price. And Taibu is definitely... Uh, the first guy of the bench and probably gonna see close to 30 minutes a game so definitely interesting uh but my five players would be j rich would be probably in my bottom five my bottom five uh other way i will also take a chance I, actually how the way man he played a lot of minutes i see him uh, doing his thing yesterday uh joe harris gonna be out so definitely you have to find out who's gonna start for him but TLC, I like TLC. Where is TLC anyway? How much is TLC? Let me see. I'm, oh, it's going to be small for and powerful probably. So uh, we'll get there. Okay, so it's uh, Liv Hurt, Van Fleet, Brown, Lou Williams, and then uh, J. Rich. Those are my favorite five. And then, of course, uh, just like there were players like Paro and... Uh, Seth, Alec Burks, uh, Tempo, Hardaway, I'm going to get a little, like at least 10% of those guys. And uh, for the small forward position, you got Luca there if you want to go there, Kawhi. Uh, me personally, I'd go with Kawhi between the two if I'm looking at the small forward position. Uh, Jason Tatum, 9.2. I'd still go with Kawhi. Paul George, Harris, I'd go with Harris over Paul George, Porter, Angles, I will definitely take a chance on Porter, uh, I still think uh, if the game was a close game, he would not get, I mean if anything he got on DK, 40.5, I don't think he would get that many, but it, all we want is fantasy points. We don't care if it's a blowout or not, as long as he, you know. So I feel like he get more, you know, a little bit. He was on the court without those guys for a little bit longer, and that got him to get to 40 fantasy points. J. Rich, uh, I like him. Uh, the fact that he's a guy that can do so many different things, just need to know that. Sometimes it feel like he doesn't know that when he's on the court. Uh, but it looks like he wants to, so hopefully that will be the case there. Uh, OG, I'll take a chance. I love TLC tomorrow. Uh, Finney Smith, G like him, O'Neal. I love the price on O'Neal. So definitely uh, you have plenty of choices. Uh, I will definitely put TLC on my top five of my top five. Uh, I'm not going to put J. Rich there because I already have him on the uh, shooting guard. So I'm not going to put him because I want to add other, you know. So I'll put uh, Kawhi Leonard. I'll put uh, Jason Tatum in there. Harris. Uh, I mean, if it, probably since you 33. So actually, for the way it started, that's not bad. Um, I'll put Luca in there. Uh, because you put on TK, man, there's uh, a lot of cheap plays, especially at the smaller forward position. So definitely looking forward uh, to play some of those cheap plays because a lot of them can actually get you 30 plus fantasy points. Uh, for power forward, 
again it's the siakam okay i like siakam again i mean this guy very disappointed start the first quarter over 20 fantasy points for like second straight game and just don't do anything but siakam possibly when i'm looking at the power forward position possibly my favorite player at the position on the k 7.2 k and cheaper than harris Shakam holding small forward on FD. Shakam is more expensive, so I'll take the discount on the K. I'll go Shakam with Harris there, um, but I do like Harris too. I like Tatum too, and TLC uh, on OG above small. F if I like somebody at small forward and they're in the powerful position, I like them too. Morris definitely has been good. Uh, I don't see no reason not to put them on my top five. And uh, Mitz have been disappointed. Grant uh, has been getting the minutes as they really like him, so he's probably going to get the minutes. But I'll play O'Neal over uh, Millsap and Grant. So for that reason, most likely I might not play any of those guys. My clever, wow, he got over 20 fantasy points. That was good to see. Uh works probably going to see a little bit more minutes tomorrow, but that's probably a no-no for me. Uh, we have to wait to see who's gonna get the start for them. Um, I can see Quirks go back in the starting lineup, so uh, it's gonna be a lot of TLC and and uh, oh, I hate when the name sometimes left my my uh, and leave hurt. So yeah, that's basically for power forward, man. It's uh, Tatum, Harris, Yakam, a little bit of Porter, TLC. Uh, OG O'Neal. So, my favorite five player there, O'Neal is probably the number five player. Uh, where is Maurice? And then the top three, and then everybody else, maybe 10 percent of them at the center position. Joel Embiid and Jokic still like Joel Embiid more, but I do like Jokic too. Uh, it's only about 500 difference number to FD. I think it's a bit more. Pozengis, Gobert. I like all those guys. The top five is my favorite five. Then if you wanna go with the cheap one, I think uh, Arel gonna probably gonna be his first game where he go with 20 fantasy points. So I like him for that price. And uh, that's basically it for center. I'm not gonna go with Cantor, uh, no Boucher. Boban, I just don't know when he's gonna play minutes or not. So if you wanna take a chance, you can. But I would probably rather play him the next game than tomorrow's game. All right. So uh, for my five players, guys, uh, let's go to my five players. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Lou Williams here. 5.6k. I'm gonna start with Lou Williams. Uh, my first player I wanna go to. Uh, like I said, DK has a lot of cheap play that uh, I like. That's on the 4k range. And I'm gonna go with uh, a 4.1k guys here. I wanna go with Montrezo at because the ceiling is higher than O'Neill. But uh, I'm gonna go with O'Neill back O'Neill here as my second guy. All right, and my third guy. Let me look at my note real quick. Yeah, it's TLC. Go with TLC. And then you know you have money to basically do anything you want, anybody you want to add. So Conley uh, is one of my five. You know when I do my FD, but on DK it's a bit different. I'm not gonna go with him on DK because uh, he's like 5.6. I mean it's not that much different, but that could make a difference. Uh, Siakam, man, I wanna go back to Siakam so bad, but. Uh, this time, I'm just not going to go to him and give you guys. Uh, I'm going to go with Kawhi Leonard here. Uh, so, in the last game, give you guys a little bit of Kawhi. And then, uh, my last player is... So, I decided to go with Embed here too. So, I'll give you two guys over 9K. Uh, so, I could have just go with uh, Luca, but I'm going with Embed here. Uh, I feel like Philadelphia need to win the game, and if they're gonna win the game, or if at least keep the game close, Embiid gonna need to have 60 here. For that reason, I'm going with Embiid, and hoping he can drop 60. All right, 
that's basically it guys those are my five players i appreciate you guys good luck hopefully uh those pick help you guys win some money and uh, if even without my pick a lot of those guys you was gonna play them anyway but those are my fives good luck please drop a like in this video i'm out Thank you.